at Spencer Publications, Steffi and Bill go over how Liam's let her down. Steffi can't be with someone who holds her to a standard he can't uphold himself. Bill refers to his son as Dudley do right. Talk turns to Bill keeping his promises, Steffi wants to ensure that he'll protect her mother. Bill acknowledges this, and says he knows she wouldn't be there unless she needed him. He asks what she can give him. Steffi replies, yes. I can give you yes. Bill brings up marriage. Steffi says she made a stop on her way over there, and hands over a paper that explains it all. Bill, smiling, takes it. The document indicates Steffi wants his 12.5% of Forrester Creations shares for controlling interest of the company. Bill declares she's asking too much. Steffi's prepared to walk out. Bill says he loves her, he needs to know that means something to her. Steffi will only say she has more faith in him right now than anyone on the planet. Bill summons Justin into the office. He enters and greets Steffi. Bill directs him to sign the shares over to Steffi. Justin leaves and returns to show Steffi the legal certification of Bill's Forrester holdings and the transfer. Justin mutters about the value. Bill interrupts, and is unconcerned. Justin's sent out again. Bill intones that the transfer will take place when she becomes Mrs. Spencer. He's always had his price too. Bill realizes she still loves Liam, but says it's not a deal breaker, he'll never make her happy. Bill notes she made a choice tonight, and that choice wasn't Liam. Steffi, with tears and sniffles, signs the document. Bill asks if it's really what she wants. She replies, yes. Bill signs the document, then places his sword necklace around her neck as thunder booms outside. At Brooke's place, Hope laments feeling guilty about Steffi having found her with Liam in the dressing room, she seems to think that while she was recovering from childbirth, they were conducting some sort of affair. Brooke can't understand why she feels so bad, and reminds her daughter that Liam and Steffi weren't married. They go over the situation, and Hope points out Liam apologized to Steffi and went after her. Brooke thinks he's chosen a life and a family with Hope. Hope considers that maybe her mother is right, but worries about what it would do to Steffi to lose him. Brooke thinks Steffi's a tough person, and notes she never thought she and Liam never made a good pair. At the cliff house, Liam lets the nanny go, then paces and tries repeatedly to reach Steffi, but eventually her voicemail is full and he gets cut off.